Hello, brothers and sisters. Hope you all are doing well. Today, I am going to make some salsa. I got a box of 25 pound Roma tomatoes for $15. So I got on that board and went and got some. Anyway, this is what it looks like. And uh, also got some green peppers and red peppers on sale. And um, so I'm excited, it's gonna be cheap and uh, it's gonna be lots left so I can store it on my shelf. Enjoy the video. As you can see, I have my tomatoes soaking. I have them soaking in vinegar to get rid of all the whatever's on them, just to make sure. So I put one fourth of uh, vinegar in it with this huge sink and all my tomatoes there. So I'm not going to probably use all of them for salsa. I actually might do some canned tomatoes as well. We'll see how it goes. I mixed all the spices together. So what I put in there is um, turmeric. If you know me, you know I cook everything with turmeric. <laughs> I got cumin in there and I got oregano in there and I got smoked um, paprika. And I may add sugar. Um, sometimes the people's recipes call sugar, but I don't like it too sweet. So I'll taste test as I go. And if I need to add sugar, I'll let you know. Also, I have uh, vinegar, so I'm going to use this balsamic vinegar. It's from Italy, so you know it's a good vinegar. And the reason why I put vinegar in it, now I'll probably only put like a shot of vinegar in it because that'll help preserve and keep it uh, shelf uh, sturdy. I have my red and green uh, peppers and I got my onions. Anything else that I'm gonna put in it, I'll let you know as I go, because if you've ever cooked with me, you know I like to experiment. Rinsed off, so now I'm going to cut them in half, and I wanna get the pills removed, because I will use, uh, I'll make powder out of the pills, and you can do them two ways. I'm gonna roast them in the um, oven for on third 375 for about two to four minutes, just enough so I can peel the peels off and then use the the uh, insides of them. There's my oven if you heard that. And um, then I will uh, take them out and then cut them up even more and put them in my pan. Now the reason why I roast them instead of boil them because you can boil them. Um, I just find that the boiling of them takes a lot of the vitamins out of it and I'm all about the vitamins. This way I can uh, Try and keep as many vitamins as I can in them. So that's all you do is fill up your pans and then put it in for 375. Also, forgot to mention, you should cut these little end pieces off too because you don't want that in your salsa. Okay, they're ready to go in the oven. Um, it's about 46 tomatoes here. I still have a sink full. So I'm probably going to do uh, the canned tomatoes. It's always good to have on your shelf anyway. And with salsa, I mean, you can use salsa for anything. I even cook it on top of chicken. And I, you know, your standard salsa stuff that you always use, that you think to use, you can use that for anything. Sometimes if I have some left in the fridge and I want to get rid of stuff in the fridge, I'll just put it in the soup. <laughs> Why not? You can do anything with food. Just do it with love. Because with love, it's more flavorful. They're hot, so you want to be careful, but as you can see, it comes right off. Look at that. The peels come right off, so I'll save them, make some uh, tomato powder in my dehydrator. Here they are with all the peels taken off. Look how nice and meaty they are. I will get these put aside, let them cool down, and I will get them cut up. But in the meantime, I'm going to get the other ones into the oven. Okay, I got them all roasted. So now I'm just going to chop them up in chunks. Get them in the pan. Now we are going to cut up the red peppers and green peppers and you want to want to take all the white stuff off 
You just got to dice them up like that. There's tomatoes, onions, red pepper, green pepper in there already. And now I am actually going to do the garlic. So I have my garlic press. Get the garlic up in there. As you can tell, I've added garlic. So I'm adding other ingredients as well. This one is fire roasted. I know it's backwards. Uh, fire roasted um, tomatoes, unpeeled diced uh, tomatoes. So I'm going to put two cans of this in because that helps with the uh, preserving shelf life as well. And depends on how thick it is. If it's too thick, then I won't use the paste. But if it's not thick enough, then I will use the paste. So I'm just going to go with it. So get stirring. doing a half a glass or half a shot glass I should say of uh, the vinegar so that's the Italian vinegar I have throw that in there I already put one of the cans of these in throw that in there and then your spices and once this is heated up I'm going to seal it up and put it in the oven because the oven will distribute it the heat properly and as you see I'll put it in my roasting pan Finally, having a rest <laughs> is a much needed one. Um, the, a lot of work came from doing the tomatoes, but that's okay because I'm going to have a lot of food after this. But I wanted to let you know that I've added salt. I've added sugar um, because it was too um, uh, acidity. So I wanted to sweeten it up a little bit. Um, I have it in the oven now for about 15 minutes. So I'll go check on it, do a taste test and see if it needs anything else. So I put about two tablespoons of uh, salt and about a half a cup of sugar at the moment. And then we'll go from there. As you can see, it turned out amazing. So I'm ready to put it in the jars. So you fill it up. You got some space left on the top. My jars are hot too because I just took them out of the... Uh, pot because I had to sterilize them so it's good to put the hot jars or the hot stuff in the hot jars so now you just gotta oh they're hot they won't need to be in the water bath too long because they're already hot so I'll probably put them in for about 15 minutes and I'll do um, warm water uh, Possibly a little on the hot side as I'm boiling it because you don't want the cold and the hot to mix and your glass will break. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six and a little one. This little one, I'll take it to a friend's house tomorrow and get it tested out. So your next thing is to put all your lids on. in the pot and ready to rock and roll. Like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to comment.